Hi students, you are welcome in Literature Simply, simple way to learn literature and language. Friends, this is a different video than our regular video because in this video, I prepared for you a question series. There are multiple choice questions and you have to solve these questions. This video is based on your learning from the videos you watched before or previous and this in this particular video, we are solving the questions based on Anglo-Saxon or Old English period. Or simply you can say uh, to this tutorial as the most important questions on the Anglo-Saxon or Old English period. And uh, let me give you some instructions regarding this multiple choice questions series. So basically here we have multiple choice questions. There are 20 questions and each question carries one point and you have to uh, score out of 20 points means there are 20 points and out of these 20 points how many points you get uh, is the uh, very base of our tutorial. So friends I request you to please take a pen and paper and note down your answers and at last calculate your points out of 20 points. So friends let's start the question series. Here on screen here we have our first question. I read this question and you have to uh, find out the answer and note down. So here is the question. One of the oldest poems in English, Beowulf is written by A. Cadmon, B. Sign Wolf, C. Bede and D. Author is not known. Again I repeat the question. Please note down the answer. One of the oldest poems in English, Beowulf is written by A. Cadmon, B. Sign Wolf, C. Bede and D author is not known. So I am sure you noted down the answer and the correct answer is D author is not known. We do not know Beowulf uh, the author of Beowulf or who composed the poem Beowulf the earliest poem in English language. Now second question the monster Grendel appears in the poem A Widsi B Pure's Lament C Beowulf and D Walder. Again, I repeat the question. The monster Grendel appears in the poem A. Widship, B. Dwarf's Lament, C. Beowulf and D. Walder. So note down the answer and the correct answer here we have C. Beowulf. The monster Grendel appears in the poem called Beowulf. Next question. The poem Widship, probably the oldest in English, is about A. Fight between king and monster. B personal account of the minstrel's life c account of life of king d none of the above friends here we have a poem called widsi it is considered as the oldest poem in english and it is about here you have options a fight between king and monster b personal account of minstrel's life c account of life of king and d none of the above so note down your answer the correct answer is b personal account of the minstrel's life. The fourth question we have the three dash tribes came to England in the middle of the 5th century. A. French B. Italian C. Greek and D. Germany. Again I repeat the question the three dash tribes came to England in the middle of the 5th century. A. French B. Italian C. Greek and D. Germany. And the correct answer is D. Germany. The three Germanic tribes came to England in the middle of the 5th century. Question number 5. Which Germanic tribes came to England in the middle of the 5th century? A. Jutes and Angles B. Saxons C. A and B and D. Jutes Here you have to provide the names of those tribes which came to England. Again I repeat the question. Which Germanic tribes came to England in the middle of the 5th century? A. Jutes and Angles B Saxons C A and B D Jutes and the correct answer is C A and B means the three Germanic tribes called Jutes Angles and Saxons came to England in the middle of the 5th century. Question number 6 who is called the father of our English learning A Cadmon B. Sign Wolf. C. Bede. And D. King Alfred. Again I repeat the question. Who is called the father of our English learning? A. Cadmon. 
B. Sign Wolf, C. Beat, and D. King Alfred. And the correct answer to this question is Beat. So Beat is called the father of our English learning, according to William J. Long. Number seven. Who wrote Ecclesiastical History of English People? A. Cadmon. B. Sign Wolf. C. Beat, and D. King Alfred. Again, I repeat the question. Who wrote Ecclesiastical History of English People? A. Cadmon. B sign wolf C bead and D king alfred and the correct answer is C bead bead wrote the ecclesiastical history of english people number 8 who wrote paraphrase in which we find poems genesis exodus and daniel A cadmon B sign wolf C bead and D king alfred again i repeat the question who wrote paraphrase in which we find poems like Genesis, Exodus, and Daniel, and the options are A. Cadmon, B. Sign Wolf, C. Bede, and D. King Alfred. And the correct answer is A. Cadmon. Cadmon wrote paraphrase in which we find Genesis, Exodus, and Daniel. This poem. Question number nine. The didactic poem Christ is written by A. Cadmon, B. Sign Wolf, C. Bede, D. King Alfred. Who wrote the poem Christ? The options are A. Cadmon. B sign wolf C bead and D king alfred and the correct answer is B sign wolf the didactic poem christ is written by sign wolf question number 10 who translated bead's history in anglo saxon period options are A cadmon B sign wolf C bead and D king alfred again i repeat the question who translated bead's ecclesiastical history in anglo saxon period and options are A cadmon B sign wolf C Bede and D King Alfred and the correct answer is King Alfred the D option the question number 11 who contributed to english or saxon chronicles again you have options a cadmon b sign wolf c bede and d king alfred again i repeat the question who contributed to english or saxon chronicles a cadmon b sign wolf c bede and D king alfred and the correct answer is D king alfred king alfred contributed to english or anglo saxon chronicles and his contribution is considered very significant in this period because uh, he has given the details about significant persons authors uh, or kings in the society in that particular book called english or saxon chronicles the next question we have alfred became the king of wessex in a 871 b 901 c 547 and d 878 when did king alfred became the king of wessex options are a 871 B 901 C 547 and D 878 and the correct answer is A 871 and in 901 King Alfred died the next question question number 13 Harold the last of Saxon kings defeated in options are A battle of Hastings 1066 B Battle of Wedmore 878 C Battle of Northumbria 867 and D none of the above again i repeat the question herald the last of saxon kings defeated in and options are A Battle of Hastings 1066 B Battle of Wedmore 878 C Battle of Northumbria 867 and D none of the above and the correct answer is A Battle of Hastings 1066 the next question question number 14 norman conquest is generally considered options are a battle of hastings 1066 b battle of wedmore 878 c battle of northumbria 867 and d none of the above and the correct answer is a battle of hastings 1066 generally norman conquest is considered uh, to the battle of hastings occurred in 1066 and from there we find that norman people gained the british territories and they settled there in the england so it is called as norman conquest battle of hastings was the last battle in this norman conquest which occurred in 1066 the next question we have 15 dash is considered as national epic of england and options are a widsith b the christ c beowulf and d dream of the rood and the correct answer is C Beowulf Beowulf is considered as the national epic of England next question 16 number pagan literature 
dash a believes in god and religion b do not believe in god and religion c believes in christianity and d none of the above again i repeat the question pagan literature a believes in god and religion b do not believe in god and religion c believes in christianity and d none of the above and the correct answer is b do not believe in god and religion the next question question number 17 timeline of anglo saxon or old english period is and options are a 552 to 1077 b 400 to 1000 c 450 to 1066 and d 450 to 1100 uh, please note down your answer again i repeat the question the timeline of anglo saxon or old english period is a 550 to 1077 b 400 to 1000 c 450 to 1066 and d 450 to 1100 i am sure you noted down the answer and the correct answer is c 450 to 1066 and friends we have the next question question number 18 the poems andreas phoenix dream of the road descent into hell and wanderer are attributed to dash options are a sign wolf school of writers b cadmon school of writers c northumbrian school of writers and d pagan writers again i repeat the question please note down your answer the poems andreas phoenix dream of the road descent into hell and wanderer are attributed to dash options are a sign wolf school of writers b cadmon school of writers and c northumbrian school of writers d pagan writers and the correct answer is a sign wolf school of writers these poems are attributed to sign wolf school of writer the next question question number 19 who wrote the fates of the apostle and elin the options are a sign wolf b cadmon c bead and d b wolf again i repeat the question please note down your answer who wrote the fates of the apostles and elin a sign wolf b cadmon c bead and d b wolf and the correct answer is a sign wolf sign wolf composed these poems called the fates of the apostle and elin and the last question in this mcqs here question number 20 b wolf is based on the story of dash and options are a a monster and king b a bird and king c people and king and d none of the above please note down your answer again i repeat the question b wolf is based on the story of dash a a monster and king b a bird and king c people and king and d none of the above i am sure you noted down your answer and the correct answer is a a monster and king beowulf which is considered a national epic in england is based on a monster and king as we have discussed in the video there is a monster called grendel and the beowulf there is a battle between monster and beowulf so this is the story of beowulf so friends these are 20 questions i hope you noted down answers of all these questions and please comment below and tell your score out of 20 how much score you receive in this quiz in this tutorial of the multiple choice questions please comment so thank you very much for watching or solving this series of questions in the next video uh, we will again uh, make a series on the next period uh, in history of english literature